Hi, I'm glad to see you again. And today for our reading and writing lesson, we're going to be using our My Shared Readings booklet and we're working in unit seven right now. So you have three ways you could do this. You could use the same workbook with me if you picked it up in your copies. If you didn't and you decide that you would like it, please message your teacher and ask about getting a copy. We have these at school. Um, Another way to do this activity with us is to print it from the link that's right below this link on your calendar template this week. So if you click that and it opens up, then you'll print the pages and they look like this. And then you'll be able to do the activity with us. Another way you could do it is forget the paper and just do this on um, the Seesaw class app or the Seesaw website logging in as a student. And I'm going to show you how to do it that way in a little bit. First, I wanted to show you what to do if you're following along in the workbook. So go ahead and pause this right now. Get your supplies that you need to do this so you can do it along with me. Okay, so if you're using the workbook, you're going to open up to page 10 and 11. And I wanted to tell you, this is the only page that we're going to be using in unit seven, we'll use another one in unit eight, but for now, all the other pages in unit seven over here are ones that you can do on your own if you would like. Okay, so here we are, it says, let's celebrate Earth Day, and this story today isn't really a story. It's not a pretend story about people or animals, so it's not fiction. This reading today is nonfiction. And instead of it being a story, it's what we call an informational text. That means that what we're reading about gives us information. And it's all about Earth Day, which happened this week. So here we go. Let's celebrate Earth Day. On April 22nd, people all around the world celebrate Earth Day. On Earth Day, my friends and I plant trees and bushes at our local park. What do you do for our Earth on Earth Day? So the instructions in these booklets is always right down here in this gray box. It tells you what to circle, what to underline, and what to make a star or a smiley face by. So this time we're looking for words that begin with the letter L. It could be capital L or lowercase l. Then we're going to be looking for the word for. And the last thing we're looking for in our passage is our favorite part of the story. So we're going to put a smiley face by that part. This practice helps us get ready for older grades when we need to find things in our writing and make notes about what we're reading about. Um, and not just in our writing, but in other people's writing that we read like this. Okay, so then once you've done that, then there's this box over here for writing your response. So we think about how does this passage about Earth Day affect us or what does it mean to us? So here's a question that can kind of help us think of that. What do you do for our Earth on Earth Day? So this could be something you've done before or this could be something that you'd like to do in the future or maybe it's an idea that you have. What could you do? So maybe it's, I can pick up garbage. Or maybe it's, I can plant a tree. You're going to write down here on the lines with your capital starting the beginning of your sentence and a period at the end. And then you're going to draw a picture of that. So now I'm going to share my computer screen with you so you can see how to log in on Seesaw. Okay, so. When you are searching for Seesaw on your computer, it'll look like this. Um, this will be the first page you get to where you log in. If you're on an app, um, on a tablet or an iPad, you're going to go to the Seesaw class app, not the family app. Okay, so once you get here and click log in, it will bring you to this screen. And you have choices here. I'm a teacher, I'm a student, or I'm a family member. 
when your parents or grandparents communicate with me, they click on this one. I'm a family member and log in. But when you're doing an assignment like this, an activity, you're going to click on I am a student. So once you click on that, this screen will open. And we're just going to ignore this whole top section up here. The only thing you need to do is enter in your text code. And so you will ask um, uh, your teacher for your text code and they will give that to you. You can enter that in and click go. Once you've clicked that, you're going to end up inside your Seesaw um, and there will be activities listed. And so you click add response. That means you want to um, write on it yourself and send it to your teacher. So here we go, it has some really cool features. So down here we have a pencil you could choose to write with. You could choose to write with this pen or this highlighter. You can play around with these and see what you like to do, okay? So I'm gonna try this highlighter and I can change the color over on the side. I'm gonna drag it down and the color that it's going to be will show you in the middle of your page. I'm gonna drag it down to green for Earth Day. And my first direction is to circle the word that begins, or the words that begin with L. Let's say I forgot what the directions are, or I need someone to read this to me. I can click right up here. This says View Instructions. And when I click that, it tells the instructions again in case I forgot. And it even plays it and reads it to me. So watch when I click it. These are instructions for your My Shared Readings booklet, Unit 7, pages 10. So if I want to stop that, I just click pause, or if I want to start it again, I click play. And to get rid of this box, I can click the X. Okay, so my first direction is going to be circling the word that begins with L. I've got my highlighter ready. So I'm going to go word by word through the passage. So I'm going to start at the first word and ask myself, does this word begin with the letter L? If it does, I'm going to take my highlighter that I clicked on, push the mouse of my um, computer, and I'm going to make a circle around that word that begins with L. Then I go to the next word. Does this one begin with L? No. So I'm going to keep going and ask myself that question each time. Does this begin with L? How about this? How about this? And ask as I go through each of the words. After I've done that and I found the other hiding word that starts with lowercase l, I'm not going to show you what it is because I want you to find it. Then I'm going to go to the next direction and it says underline the word for. Maybe this time, hmm. I'm going to use this pen over here. Oh yeah, and I'm going to do maybe this blue color. So I'm looking for the word for, the same thing. I'm going to go, is this for? No, is this for? And go through each word looking for the word for, F-O-R. And I'm going to keep going until I find it. And when I find it, I'm going to under, whoops. That didn't work, did it? It kind of blocked out the whole word. So if I make a mistake, I go right up here to this arrow going backward. That means undo what I just did. So I click it, oh, and it disappeared, okay? So I think that pen was too thick. I need a really thin point on my pen to try that again to underline. So I'm gonna go and try to underline the word for. Then the last thing is I'm going to put a smiley face by my favorite part. This time I'm going to try this pencil. And I'm going to change the color. And I'm, whoop, let's see. And I'm going to find a spot that I liked in the passage. I really liked it when they were talking about planting things at the park. I think that's a good idea. So it was talking about it right up here. I'm going to draw a circle, smiley face, comes out a little funny, with my smile and my eyes. <laughs> okay, see if you can draw one too, it's pretty tricky. And then, now that I've done that part, now I'm going to draw my picture and write my words. 
So one thing that I like to do too is I like to plant things on Earth Day. So I'm gonna draw some grass and I'm gonna draw um, like a baby tree being planted. Let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Okay, here's the baby tree. With some little leaves. Okay, and maybe I can add some more details, like I can do the sun up in the sky. And maybe I'm gonna make sure that tree gets some water. So you get the idea, you're going to add um, different things to your picture until it gets the way that you like it. Okay, this is all the water going to the tree. Okay. Now I need to write some words. So whenever I want to write some words, I can click on this T up here, T for text. And let's say I want to move this box and make sure I'm clicking on this hand and that lets me move the box. So I'm, whoopsie, where'd it go? Let's try again. Well, that's not working for Mrs. Henry. Whoops. I better delete this and start over again. Okay, so I'm going to try this text box. And if I can't figure out how to move it, then I'm just going to leave it where it shows up. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to write my words that I want to say about what I do for Earth Day. So I'm going to say, I like to plant trees, period. Okay, and now when I'm all done, I can record my voice reading what I wrote. I can go like this and click start recording. Hi, Mrs. Henry. I read this and I like to plant trees for Earth Day. And then when I'm done recording, I can click that pause button and I can click done. And then I can send this to my teacher and I can hear what it sounded like. Hi, Mrs. Henry. I read this and I like to plant trees for Earth Day. Okay, so that's what's going to go to my teacher when I'm all done. And this is how I show I'm all done as I click this green check. Okay, and then I'm all done. I did the assignment. So that those are some different ways um, that you could do this. So let's see. Um, that's all I have for you for now. But if you have questions, let me know and I will see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.